My name is Valerie Mayen. I am originally from Corpus Christi, Texas, but I've been a Clevelander for almost 14 years now. I started Yellow Cake Shop. It's a contemporary women's clothing company. We started out specializing in outerwear, and after my stint on Project Runway, we started developing more products uh, according to client demand and requests and, you know, my own whim and fancy, I guess. Um, we had a small shop in Gordon Square for about four years on the, six, the corner of 65th and Detroit, and we quickly grew from a small 800-square-foot space to uh, a 1,600-square-foot space. We won a few grants. We did some fundraisers. Uh, we do an annual event called Hullabaloo every year. It's our big fashion show. And um, that's that's been growing as well. So I think, you know, for myself personally, um, as a creative, you know, I was an illustrator before I was a fashion designer. So um, I think a lot of other creatives can relate. The, the plight of anyone who is a maker, who is an artist, who is a craftsperson, is that you have so many ideas, you don't know which one to pick or what direction to take. So for Yellow Cake, you know, currently we're finding that perhaps our our clientele has grown with us and we are also finding some changes in the market. So I think where we're stuck, I wouldn't say stuck, maybe that's the wrong word. I think where we're at now in our transition is how can we grow the brand to grow with our clients? How can we develop and sophisticate the brand so that it's more timeless, it's more sustainable, it's... Um, simpler to produce, it's more cost effective and more lucrative. You know, how does it make the most financial sense, but also still fulfill our creative bones and needs? Um, and that's the tricky part. You know, uh, we have never really taken on investors or much debt. We've done everything, you know, based on um, the money we bring in. So whatever money we bring in with Yellow Cake is the money we put back in the business. Um, so, you know, we also may be at a junction in our business or company where we take on investors or we maybe start figuring out other sources for, for funding. Um, as far as the rebrand goes, our thought process is, I would say, threefold. We want to educate our client and our customer in a way that maybe we've not before. Um, you know, a big part of our business model is that we give a portion of our proceeds to the city mission. And if we don't have any profits for the year that we can speak of, then we try to give our time and our resources and our, you know, social media prowess and exposure to to help benefit other organizations that we believe in and support, namely those who are geared towards homelessness and hunger and alleviating poverty. Um, so that's, that's our main goal is to try to educate our client more on who we are and what we do so that they can connect better with our brand. The second um, part of our business rebrand is to um, really polish the product um, and create less of the product if that makes sense. So kind of like how Manolo Blahnik just did shoes and North Face is really known for, you know, um, utility outerwear. We want to be known for high-end luxury coats, jackets, trenches, that kind of thing. So, so we want to kind of really hone in and focus on one specific product and do it well. And then from there, maybe we'll branch out. But, but you know, right now we've got 45 different styles and skews and we do the tank tops and the cardigans and the accessories and it's it's kind of I think deviated and watered down what our main mission and brand focus was about when we first started. Um, our third um, idea and concept for the rebrand is to really um, tell a story and really hone in on who our client and customer is. But to be able to cast our net wide, what we want to do is create two different types of yellow cake clients. We have our yellow cake classic, who's more of a conservative, mature woman, and we have our yellow cake bold, which is more of an edgier, um, more adventurous client. And we also want to try to incorporate those two clients with our entire mission and mantra, which is to give back. So our hope is to also tie in some kind of campaign with social media and Twitter using the hashtag Let's Give for in in conjunction with Yellow Cake. And maybe it's not even Yellow Cake anymore. Maybe it's just going to be YC. Maybe it's just Valerie Mayan. That's also another hurdle we have to figure out. 
Um, because if you're creative and if you've done any kind of reality show or any kind of public whatever, um, there are people in the public that know you as one thing and then people that don't watch that show or aren't connected to that, that part of your career or your life or your brand that know you as another. So some Clevelanders know me as Yellow Cake and some Clevelanders know me as Valerie Mayan from Project Runway. So that's something we also have to figure out. And it can be difficult and daunting and maybe we'll see a little bit of a, a hit in finances, but we don't really know yet. We haven't tried. So that's pretty much where we're at. Um, we've got lots of work to do. Uh, we don't have a lot of money and Right now, both my boyfriend and I are kind of, sort of jobless, I guess. The winter is coming, so it's the hardest time of the year for any small business, unless, I guess, you run a ski lodge in, you know, a mammoth or something. But, um, yeah, I think this is the part, you know, where as a creative, as an entrepreneur, you really have to be frugal. You have to be resourceful. You have to be creative in how you pinch your pennies, how you really um, stretch your dollar. So, you know, um, I'm making a lot of gifts this year for Christmas. I'm um, eating a lot of peanut butter and jelly. I'm um, selling a lot of stuff on Etsy and eBay. Um, just doing what I can to, to continue making the dream work.